Go back to December 1982 and visualize a business leader, maybe a banker, maybe a customer, could, could be somebody in government or nonprofits, but imagine a leader who had 25 years of experience as of December 1982. That person had managed through five recessions. Now fast forward and go to December 2007 to the next generation of leadership and envision somebody in December 2007 who had 25 years experience. That person had managed through two recessions. Five recessions, two recessions. And those two recessions of the later generation were two of the mildest on record. So that period that is shaded, we economists call the great moderation. It was the calmest era in American economic history. Now I'm only showing data back from 1950. Uh, we actually have some annual data that goes back to the early 1800s. If you look at it anyway, that period from the end of 82 when the 82 recession ended through December 2007 was the least cyclical, calmest era of American economic history. Now every time I look at this chart, I probably feel the same way you do. I just really want to calculate a rolling 20 quarter uh, standard deviation on that data. Don't you really feel a need to do that? For those of you who are a few years removed from college statistics, let me just explain the rolling standard deviation. When the line is high, the economy is going up and down and up and down. When the line is low, the economy is kind of calm. So we had that period of calmness and think about this. Think about our leadership today in banking, in industrial business, as well as government nonprofits. When did they learn how to be leaders? When did they learn what issues are important to deal with and what issues are less important to deal with? They learned that during the great moderation. And then of course, December 2007 was the peak. After that we had a recession that slapped people very heavily and we came back to the idea that, oh, recessions do happen. So we are, there are like five reasons that the academics have uh, used to explain the great moderation. I don't want to go through this, but I'd be happy to deal with that one-on-one uh, -on -one later. But I've looked at the five factors, you know, the techno technological improvements, globalization, monetary policy, financial innovation, and luck. The academics are writing about luck. Uh, and I've concluded that the future is going to be more cyclical than during that period of the Great Moderation. Maybe not as bad as like the early 50s or the late 70s, but we are going to be more cyclical. The, so the business cycles are going to come closer together, and when they come, the booms are going to be boomier and the busts are going to be bustier. I wasn't sure if that last word was actually a word. I, I typed it into Google and lost two hours of productivity. 